So today I'm talking about a P0358 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0358 code? Well, it's an ignition coil age primary secondary circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, basically each cylinder is gonna have the correct air fuel ratio mixture going into it. And then at the right time, there's gonna be a spark that ignites this air fuel ratio mixture, which is gonna send the cylinder down, which is gonna turn the crank and keep the whole engine running. And for the spark plug to send out this spark, there's a coil that supplies high voltage to it. These ignition coils are gonna be located on every single cylinder, and they're basically just supplying high voltage so it can send out that spark when needed. And when you get a P0358 code, something's gone wrong with one of these, mainly with that coil H, which is gonna be located on the number eight cylinder. So if you Google your engine and cylinder location, and you look at like Google images or something like that, and you locate the number eight cylinder, the coil on that cylinder is gonna be the one the computer's seeing an issue with. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0358 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that ignition coils just failed and it just needs to be replaced. There's some different ways to go about testing those ignition coils. Sometimes they're easy to get to and then other times they're not. But if they are easy to get to, quite often what you could do is you could swap out one ignition coil with another one that you know is working and see if the problem follows. So for example, if you swapped out that cylinder eight ignition coil with cylinder number six, and then the problem followed, you know you got a bad ignition coil, you know it needs to be replaced. If those ignition coils are hard to get to, there's other ways you go about testing them. You can use a multimeter and different things like this. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad ignition coil H. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring issue with the wires going to that ignition coil. And basically, if there's any kind of problem, if there's an open, a short, there's some kind of bad connection somewhere, then that's going to cause issues. That's going to cause a problem. So you can go examine those wires and see if you see any obvious damage to them. You can also get schematics for your particular vehicle so you know what's going on inside the wiring, since there will be differences depending on the vehicle. But if you get schematics, you can use a multimeter and you can test to be sure you got a good ground, that you got voltage. And basically, there's no opens or shorts or anything like this because the next thing that could cause this is there's some kind of wiring issue. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad spark plug. And this isn't going to be too common. Usually if you get a P0358 code, it's going to be something else. It's going to be a bad coil or, or some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. But that ignition coil does work with that spark plug to send out the spark at the right time. And so it is possible that there is some kind of issue going on with that spark plug. So if you check everything else out and you just can't seem to find any issues, then it's a good idea to take that spark plug out and look at it and check to be sure that there's no damage to it or anything like this. Because the last thing on the list is going to be a bad spark plug. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0358 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe and have a good day.